Everyone deserves to live free from violence and abuse. But tragically, domestic violence remains pervasive in Australian society. Survivors face numerous barriers to both leaving and staying separated from violence, including financial hardship. Friends with Dignity is a not-for-profit organisation that delivers a variety of programs that address these barriers and assist survivors of domestic violence to rebuild their lives. Their flagship service, the Sanctuary Program, aims to transform survivors' new houses into homes through the provision of furniture and household goods. By doing so, the Sanctuary Program aims to address the challenges of economic hardship and furniture poverty, and in turn, promotes survivors' ability to successfully remain separated from violent partners. Our research was guided by two key questions. Firstly, how do service providers perceive the effects of the Sanctuary Program on helping domestic violence survivors successfully leave domestic violence and achieve sustainable livelihoods? And secondly, how does the Sanctuary Program impact the delivery of domestic violence-related social services? We conducted surveys and semi-structured interviews with domestic violence workers in a variety of positions. We received 22 survey responses and conducted five interviews with six participants. We focused on several key themes, including sense of home, sense of safety, mental well-being, and financial security, as well as benefits to domestic violence agencies. Firstly, we found that the provision of furniture and household goods transformed clients' new houses into homes particularly through personalised items such as kids' bed sets and craft items. This improved their sense of home and ownership of their new living situation. The survey results supported this finding, with 100% of respondents reporting that clients' sense of home was positively affected by the program. Moreover, the creation of a sense of home increased survivors' sense of safety and security. One participant shared that clients are not able to feel safe when they live in a shell rather than a home. In particular, building a sense of home reduced the chance of survivors returning to their previous homes where perpetrators remained. One participant encapsulated the process of improving client safety. Safety is improved for every client because they've been able to move away from the perpetrator and have a secure home. Moreover, the program allowed survivors to prioritise their safety by lessening the financial burden of starting a new home. Savings that would have otherwise been spent on furniture and household goods enabled clients to purchase items which improved their safety, like home security systems. Indeed, 100% of survey respondents reported that their client's sense of safety was positively affected by the program. The Sanctuary program also produced positive effects on clients' mental well-being with 100% of survey participants reporting that their clients' mental health and well-being was positively affected. It allowed clients to prioritise their mental health by reducing financial stress. Once their housing situation was organised, clients were able to reprioritise other important aspects of their recovery, including accessing mental health services. Furthermore, the program helped clients' sense of independence empowerment and confidence in their ability to manage current and future challenges. The program also improved clients' financial security, including their income, savings and employment. Due to experiences of financial and economic abuse, many clients had limited independent financial resources, impeding their ability to leave domestic violence and establish a sustainable livelihood. Indeed, one participant shared that some survivors have nothing but the clothes they and their children were standing in. Furthermore, the financial stress of establishing a new home increases clients' risk of debt. Thus, the provision of furniture assisted clients to overcome the financial burden of fleeing domestic violence and establishing a new home by providing a safe and stable home environment and reducing the stress of furniture poverty. The program also somewhat improved survivors' job prospects and employability. As a result, the program also had a notable impact on survivors' income and savings. In addition to client outcomes, the Sanctuary program provided significant benefits for agencies and workers, with 100% of survey respondents reporting that the program positively impacted their ability to deliver positive outcomes for their clients. In particular, we found that the program filled gaps within agency services. 
Prior to the Sanctuary program, service providers said that existing services did not adequately meet clients' needs. By filling this service gap, we found that the program saved workers' time and reduced their workload. Finally, the program improved workers' job satisfaction. Participants said that it was beautiful to see how their work could make a tangible, positive difference in clients' lives by providing them with fully furnished new homes. The Sanctuary Program has significant positive impacts for survivors of domestic violence. In turn, this breaks down the barriers to remaining separated from their abusers and creating a sustainable livelihood moving forward. The impacts of the Sanctuary Program are, in this way, long-lasting. The Sanctuary Program is really generationally changing the family. So for the next generation, it's actually providing more opportunity for them to have a better start in life.